What's the one meal that you would eat every single day and never get tired of? Mine is sweet Chinese sausage with a fried egg and some kimchi. I like to boil my Chinese sausage first and then put it in the air fryer for it to be nice and crispy. Add some black pepper and nor seasoning sauce to the egg. And then I add my pickled garlic and serrano chilies, which you can find the recipe for on my page. Let me show you how easy it is to make these spicy, cheesy Korean rice cakes. In a skillet, add one cup of water, one tablespoon of gochujang, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of sesame oil. Mix this together and let it come to a boil and add two cups of rice cakes. Then add in the hard boiled eggs and some chopped green onions. Cook this on medium heat for about five minutes and then add half a cup of mozzarella cheese. Place the lid on top and cook for another one to two minutes until the cheese is melted. Serve this when it's still hot and the cheese is nice and stretchy. Let me show you how to make these steamed garlic prawns. Clean the prawns, devein it, and leave the shell on. To make the sauce, you're gonna need two tablespoons of oil and 10 cloves of minced garlic. Add a teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of cooking wine, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Cook for two minutes and add one third cup of water. Next, soak some mung bean noodles and transfer it to a plate. Place the prawns on top and then add the garlic sauce. Steam on high heat for seven minutes and then top with a little bit of soy sauce and chopped green onions. Making chicken pho is the easiest way to cut down the cooking time. I like using free range chickens that you can pick up at the Asian market. Char some onion and ginger either on the stove or in an air fryer. Add chicken pho, bouillon, and seasoning packets. And don't forget to skim away the fat. Drop in a couple pieces of rock sugar and let this cook for about an hour. Remove the chicken and shred it and add meatballs if you'd like. I'm using fresh pho noodles and you dunk it in hot water for 10 seconds. Then add in the soup, some green onions and cilantro, your favorite spices, and a squeeze of lime. Try this keto-friendly bacon ranch cheddar dip. It's really easy to make with just a few ingredients. Mix eight ounces of softened cream cheese with one cup of sour cream, half a pack of ranch seasoning, quarter cup of bacon bits, one cup of cheddar cheese, a quarter cup of green onions. Mix it together and then refrigerate for one hour before serving. Have you tried spicy sesame noodles? It's so easy to make and you can sub this with peanut butter. Cook some spaghetti noodles, then add two tablespoons each of sesame oil, soy sauce, sweet black vinegar, and pasta water. Then add one teaspoon of chili oil, mix it all together, and top with green onions and more chili oil. I picked up this sushi platter from H Mart for $45. There is enough sashimi grade sushi to make four shirashi bowls. These bowls can cost about $20 to $25 depending on the restaurant. The platter comes with slices of salmon, tilapia, octopus, and tuna. I made sushi rice at home and then added the sashimi, thin slices of cucumber, avocado, and some ginger. And you can't leave out the masago. And my favorite way to eat this is just with soy sauce and wasabi. Watch how easy it is to make this churro cheesecake. Mix one third cup of sugar with two teaspoons of cinnamon and set aside. Then you'll need two cups of softened cream cheese, half a cup of sugar, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that together until it's smooth. Get two cans of crescent dinner rolls and roll it out on parchment paper. Spray the baking pan with some non-stick spray and then add a layer of the cinnamon sugar. Spread out the cream cheese mixture and then add another layer of the dough. Add more of the cinnamon sugar mix and then bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Once it's cool, drizzle with some caramel sauce. Let's make oyakodon. It's a Japanese chicken and egg bowl that's served over steamed rice. Slice one onion and two boneless chicken thighs. Make a sauce by adding one cup of water, two tablespoons of dashi powder, and one and a half tablespoons of light soy sauce and mirin. Add a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of sake. This makes two servings, so we're gonna cook half the onions, chicken, and sauce. Once the chicken's cooked, beat two eggs and pour it into the pan. Cover for two minutes. Pour this over steamed rice, add some chopped green onions, and if you'd like, add a little bit more sauce. You can make cold soba noodles in 10 minutes. Cook the noodles according to the package, drain it, and rinse in cold water. For the dipping sauce, add a quarter cup sake and half a cup of soy sauce and mirin, one cup of bonito flakes and two tablespoons of sugar, and let it come to a boil and strain it. When serving, do one part sauce to two parts cold water. Add noodles to a bowl and top with some chopped green onions. I also like to add shrimp tempura and kamaboko. 